What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022, maybe 2023 edition, when we get there, if we get there. Anywho, in our last episode, we did a little bit of stuff. Some of you may like it, some of you didn't. But at the end of it all, did it did it not work out? I'm just I'm just being, you know, serious right here. Yes, in our last episode, we had two things or three things happen, all right? A we deposited Rocky, the, the Onyx that we traded for back in, uh, what was it, in Violet City, and uh, captured ourselves a regular Onyx right here in game. That way, this boosted experience points doesn't affect us when we go into this next gym battle. Plus, we gave him the metal coat we got from Pokemon Gold, traded him to Gold, and look at this Serpentera Steelix. Oh my god. This Pokemon is, uh, is a beast. Only downfall is that it's not that speedy, but, you know, we'll fix that. The other thing, too, Togepi, Togepi has hatched. Look at this. Now, we forgot to call Professor Elm, which we will be doing in just a sec. And, uh, yeah, this Pokemon will be on our team because, it, you know, storyline or, you know, canonically right here in our little, you know, <laughs> our little thing right here. Yeah, we do have this Pokemon on our team in Pokemon Sword, and it does become very essential if you guys catch my drift. Now, let's see, what was another thing too? Hmm. Oh yeah, we defeated Team Rocket, saved the Slowpokes. It rained a little. We cried. But it is what it is, so let's go right ahead and call Professor Elm. There we go. Hello, Draven. How is the egg? What? It hatched? Wow, what kind of Pokemon is it? Please come show me now. So, right after our gym battle right here, we will be walking all the way back to New Bark Town. And it's actually a very good thing, too, because something that I learned just recently is that the Pokemon in front of you, or the Pokemon that's in front, in, in, well, the first Pokemon on your team, will, its happiness will increase every how many other steps. So, yeah, you know, that, that, that could be a very good walk right there. So, let's go right ahead and battle Bugsy. Now, we spent the majority of our money on potions and all that stuff, so yeah, we're gonna be good right here. All right, let's see what happens. Yo, Challenger! Bugsy's young, but his knowledge of bug Pokemon is real. It's going to be tough without him in my advice. Let's see, bug Pokemon don't like fire. Flying type moves are super effective, uh, too. Now, let's see, I don't think we have I don't think we have a fly or a a uh, a fire type Pokemon yet, but we do have a flying type Pokemon. We do have Serpentera, and uh, well, we do have Fluffle for those pesky flying type Pokemon. And yes, we kind of do want to evolve them, so let's put them up in front of our list right here. And uh, let's go ahead and take care of business right here. You want to see the leader? We come first. Okay. Now, initially this would be a double battle, but yeah, this uh, double battles weren't introduced until like the next generation, so... Unfortunately, we're gonna have to take on... Yeah, they're only Pokemon. They share a Pokemon. So let's go straight for a Thunderbolt and Crap Baskets on a Crapsicle Sick. Yes, Fluffbolt has been loafing around. There we go. Yeah, even though you don't want to obey me, we're still gonna evolve you, homeboy. And there is a supersonic attack, so that right there is gonna mess it up a little bit. So let's go again. Thundershock. Come on, come on. Damn it. Okay. Alright. This is what happens when you trade Pokemon too early. But you know what? It is what it is, guys. So here you go, Fluff Volt, and it ignored orders. Okay, and it's already confused. Come on, and turned away. Crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. Fluff Volt does not respect me. I'm going to trade you. Not really. I'm just going to switch you out. Uh, you know what? Let's go straight for Serpentera. I always I always have a one-two punch, guys. It is... It, it's okay. It's okay what's going on right here. And either way, I'm going to evolve that Pokemon. So let's go straight for a Mud Slap attack. And, well, there goes a Tackle attack right here. Not so effective. But here comes Crap Baskets. It does not affect it. So let's go for a Tackle attack. Okay. Here we go. Tackle attack. For the win! That's right. Fluff Vault gained some points. Serpentera grows to level 11. Yes, sir. Okay. And, well, here comes a Spin Rack. 
Let's go right back to Fluffolt, okay? I know it doesn't want to obey me, but I'm gonna force it to evolve. Yes, that makes me into a real bad trainer. <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. Okay, let's switch train. You don't want to battle. Let's go to a guy who actually does want to battle. Let's go to Tornado right here. Alrighty. Let's go, Tornado. And here comes a Poison Sting. That will not affect it very much, so here goes a Peck Attack. And that right there will eliminate Spinarak. Tornado kicking some butt, taking some names. And that is how you do it. We defeated T or Twins Amy and May. And, well, let's go ahead and do some more switch training for Fluffolt. Blood Pokemon are cool and tough. I'll prove it to you. Hmm. Okay. All right. Here we go. So, here we have Bugcatcher Al, and he is going to be coming out with his Caterpie. Or Caterpie. And, well, we got Fluffolt right here. Let's see if it will listen. And it ignored orders. <laughs> it wants to go back to, uh, it wants to go back to Pokemon Gold. And this is, this is what, this is a, yeah, this is the journey I chose. Eventually, I will get your respect. <laughs> I will get your respect, okay? So let's go to Tornado right here. And, well, what can I say, guys? What can I say? I did say it was going to be a little different, and it is. So, let's go straight for a peg attack right here. Now, if they did have a restriction on trades early on, they should have put it right here. They really should have. <laughs> well, later on they do. And, well, there's a speed that's fallen, and, well, here comes a tackle attack from uh, Caterpie that doesn't make it, so here we go. Peg attack for the win. And look at that. More experience points from all of us. And, well, let's go with a Weedle. Now, it is a risk taking a... Uh, it is a risk switching out because Weedle is a poison-type Pokemon, so... I'm well-equipped, don't worry. All right, Fluffolt. You don't like me and I don't like you, so guess what? We're switching you out, and let's go straight back to Tornada. Okay. Tornada, how's it going? And here's a string shot. Makes me just a little slower. And, well, let's go with the Peg Attack right here. And, no. Okay, so Peg Attack. How's it going? And that nearly defeats Weedle. Oh my god. Okay, so here we go again. And, uh, pick attack for the win. That's how you do it. Okay. And there goes Fluffolt at level 15. And Tarnada gets a little bit of experience points. Okay. You proved how tough you are. No, not really. And Fluffolt, yes, is evolving. Trust me. When we get to uh, the part where it starts obeying me, it's going to be a beast. So there you have it, guys. Fluffolt has evolved into Flappy. I should probably give it a Slappy. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here. So, Fluffolt, how's it going? It's looking very angry. Doesn't want to obey me. Kind of like Charizard. And, uh, well... Has some decent stats. So, now that it's evolved, and it might take until the third gym badge to actually get it to respect me, I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so here we are back, and I did deposit Flood Vault and Togepri for the time being because, well, here are the four Pokemon that matter right now. These four Pokemon will actually help me in defeating Bugsy, including Serpentera. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, continue our little, little uh, battles right here. Thankfully, we have two more trainers, so it'll be good. You saved all the Slowpoke? Whew! You're mighty! But my grown-up Pokémon are pretty tough, too. Well, at least he acknowledges the fact that I'm mighty. Unlike some of you people here. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Bugsy. Okay, so here we go, taking on Josh, and he's coming out with a Paris, okay! How's it going, Paris? You're looking pretty, uh, mushroomy right there. So here comes a Peg Attack. Tornado, looking uh, pretty mighty himself. Yes, we are mighty. And, uh, well, that is that right there. Holy crud, okay, so, never mind. <laughs> that right there is, a uh, whatever. And, well, let's go right ahead and switch it to Serpentera. I want to see something right here. All right, bring it on, kid. 
but Pokemon evolve young, so they get stronger that much faster. Which is true. Which is a, kind of like a huge letdown, but that's kind of like how in nature, that's kind of how nature works right there. And, well, here we are taking on Weedle. And one great thing about this is that Serpentera, immune to poison type Pokemon, so... Oh, yes. And, well, yeah, the string shot is always going to hit me because Serpentera is slower, but here comes the Buzz Slap attack. And that nearly defeats this guy, so let's go again. Mud Slap, and yes, you miss. Here we go, Mud Slap attack for the win. And there you go, Serpentera has been defeated. Or, no, no, Weedle has been defeated. What am I thinking? Okay, so here comes a Kakuna. Let's go right ahead and use Serpentera, get some experience points, make him stronger. And, wow, you are trying to be the hardest Pokemon, but Serpentera is harder. And, oh crap, okay, so, never mind. <laughs> if there's something, yes, we can't just squee, uh, we can't just screen it because, well, or screech it because it's going to keep on going up with a hardened attack, so. Alright, Tornado, you're up. Let's see, let's go straight for a peg attack right here. And that almost defeats Kakuna. Here comes another Harden. And that is not as strong, but here comes another Peck Attack. And that is how you do it right there. Look at this. Okay, and well, 62 points. Tornado has leveled up. And well, let's go right ahead and see what Beedrill can do. Now this is a test. I'm going to go with Serpentera. Now, I get that Tornado has a distinct advantage, but... Yeah, this Pokemon, that that's prime experience points right there for Serpentera. So, let's go right ahead and use a bite, or not a bind attack, but a screech attack. Go ahead, hit me with your fury attack. You're, you're basically hitting into like a aluminium or a adamantium, I should say. <laughs> not aluminium. Man, what the heck am I smoking in? Crap, I messed it. Okay. Here we go again, fury attack. It tickles. Holy crud, okay, it tickles. So here we go, Screech Attack. Oh yes. You're, yeah. You can hit me with your Fury Attacks all you want, but guess what, Serpentera? Not gonna fold, alrighty, so here we go again. Fury Attack misses again. Here we go with another Screech Attack. Oh, Draven being strategic for once. What have you been smoking? There we go. And, oh crud, okay, so it's just it's just hitting me with Fury Attacks. Here it goes, Tackle Attack. And that almost beats Beedrill right there. So here it goes, Fury Attack. Can't wait to learn the, the, the more stronger moves, I'll tell you that. So here we go, Fury, or Tackle Attack for the win. Beedrill eliminated, and bam, Serpentera grows to level 12. Okay. That's how you do it, guys being all strategic magic. And you guys said it was a bad idea. Some of you guys said that. Okay. So, we got one more guy right here. His name is Bugsy. Literally thought it was a chick. So, my bad for those who identify as chicks. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we do have super potions right here, so let's go right ahead and use this on Super Terra. And, well, let's see. Yeah, kind of... I kind of want to use Tornado. Now, there is one little messed up thing about this, and that is the Serpentera is a tank right here. So, let's go with Tornado first. I want to see something right here, so bring it on. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to Bug-type Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on Bug Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. So, here it is, guys. Gym battle number two. Okay, so here it is, guys. We're battling Bugsy. I'm sorry if I misgendered you or something. And he is going to be coming out with a Metapod right here. And one of the biggest things that you guys have to understand is when you're taking on Bugsy, there is a move that you have to watch out for, and that is uh, Fury Cutter. Fury Cutter, of course, progresses over and over and over. Now, if it misses, it has to restart its power status and all that stuff. It's kind of like Rollout. So we get, yeah, we basically get two, two, uh, two gyms that have this kind of move, and as you can see, he's coming out with a Scyther, 
Scyther is his strongest Pokemon right here. Now, we got to be very, very careful when it comes to this guy, because look at this. It's already coming out with a Fury Cutter. Not very effective, but... If we can beat out this guy real quickly, then eventually, look at that. We can beat it, like if we can beat him out right here without him using Fury Cutter, then it, it, it will actually help us out in the long run. And here he goes again, quick attack, and that actually beats us. So, let's go right ahead. And, you know what, let's go with Chico right here, because there is something very, very awesome that I can do right here and uh, okay so super effective there it is poison powder and let's go ahead and stall him just a little bit because he's gonna keep on using that fury cutter right here and there we go alrighty so here comes a reflect and that right there we go with the tank alrighty Serpentera how's it going and here comes a Fury Cutter. That right there will slice us a little bit, but it's not effective. And here comes that Poison Powder. Let's go with the Mud Slap. Fury Cutter again. And wow. Still hasn't hurt him. And there we go. We have defeated Scyther. Strategically. Bam! Serpentura grows to level 13. And well, here he's about to come out with a Kakuna. This Kakuna is a little special though, because it does have poison, uh, poison sting still. So, uh, let's go right ahead and uh, finish up this Kakuna right here. Yeah, alrighty. Reflect. Oh wait, we still have a Reflect, huh? Yeah, never mind. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Defense went up. Let's go with the Razor Leaf. It doesn't matter. There we go. And that is a critical hit, not so effective. Here comes the Poison Sting attack. And that is super effective. So let's go. Oh, crap, baskets. That shouldn't have happened. Oh, crap. Yeah. All right. Let's go right ahead and go with a tackle attack. There we go. And here comes a poison sting. Yeah, we're, we're playing with fire right here. So let's go straight to Serpentera. We do have a mud slap attack, so yeah. What is Draven smoking? I haven't smoked in a while, guys. I'll tell you that. And here comes... Poison Sting, which doesn't work. <laughs> Why didn't I think of this sooner? And yes, your string shot doesn't really do much to me. It doesn't, so. Here we go, Mud Slap for the win. Oh, almost did it, critical hit. Accuracy has fallen, and well, another hardened attack, seriously. We could squish you. We will end you. And there, oh wow, almost did it. Let's go. And yes, here we go, Serpentera for the win. Look at that. Okay. Chico, Serpentera, Yether. Bugsy has been defeated. Oh, amazing. You're an expert on Pokemon, yeah. My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win. Take this badge. Bam. We get some money. We get this. And we get ourselves the Hive Badge. Yes. Do you know the benefits of the Hive Badge? If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you even traded ones. Pokemon that no cut will be able to use it uh, use it outside of battle too. Here, I also want you to have this. We get ourselves the TM49, which is Fury Cutter. A very good uh, bug type move that you could probably use. If you don't miss, it gets stronger every turn. The longer you uh, the battle goes, the better it gets. Isn't that great? I discovered it. Hmm. Bug Pokemon are deep. There are many mysteries to exp to be explored. Study your favorites uh, thoroughly. Well, I like all Pokemon, so yeah. Now, with that being said, we can use Fluffolt now, and it will obey us until level 30. So I think we'll be able. I think we'll be okay once we get to level 30. So let's go ahead and take a look at this next badge right here. Nothing too special. Look at that. Okay, and bam, two badges in all. Good gravy. Anywho, um, so the next trip is that we have to go straight to Professor Elm. So give me just a sec, guys. I'll be right back with you getting to Professor Elm. Okay, so here we are back in Newbark Town, guys. It was a bit of an experience because, yeah, I was doing a little switch training with with Togepi. 
Not only that, but kept them in the first part of my uh, my team. So it's going to be growing its happiness, making it a little bit easier for me to evolve it later on. But as you guys can see, it learned metronome. Still not an effective move, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so let's move on ahead right here and uh, go to Professor Realm. Now, if you talk to him after hatching the egg, here he is. He's like, Draven, you look great. What? That Pokemon. The egg hatched? So Pokemon are born from eggs? No, perhaps not all are. Wow, there's still a lot of research to be done. Thanks, Draven, you're helping. Un or you're helping unravel Pokemon mysteries for us. I want you to have this as a token of my appreciation. And well, here we have the Everstone, which, well, it's not really useful. <laughs> That's an Everstone. Some species of Pokemon evolve when, you when they grow to certain levels. A Pokemon holding an Everstone won't evolve. Give it to a Pokemon you don't want to evolve, and that it is it is very good for you know strategic purposes, you know, to help Pokemon learn their stronger moves early on. But I'm not that type of dude right there, so yeah. Anywho, guys, in the next episode, we're gonna be going into the Ilex Forest and we're gonna be taking care of business there, going to Goldenrod and all that crud. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. I think we got the donation things going, yeah, join. Pokemon Silver and all that stuff. I've, I've been saying that all day. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.